All right, guys, so it's the beginning of November. Thousands and thousands of returning expats and tourists are slowly trickling back here into Thailand. And obviously, when you're coming back to this country, you need a place to stay. So I'm doing another condo video. I know, very original. I read, saw one of the comments from my last video uh, saying that, you know what, I've seen a lot of condo videos around the Sukhumvit area, which is where most of us expats usually like to live. But what about the sea loam Satorn area. If you guys don't know too much about the Sea Loam Satorn area, it's more it's more big money. The majority of the world's embassies are over in the Sea Loam Satorn area. The financial hub is here over in Satorn. So it's a lot of big money. Condos are generally going to be much more expensive. So if you're into that kind of more of an upscale luxury posh neighborhood then this video is definitely for you. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I've stayed in the Sea Loam area for a couple months and it, it kind of reminds me of my uncle's neighborhood in Hong Kong, gentrified. See, my uncle's neighborhood back in the 90s, it was super raw, authentic, you know, just very localized. And you visit it now in 2021 and it's completely gentrified. I've never seen so many French restaurants and coffee shops serving avocado toast in a raw, Hong Kong neighborhood. So it really depends how you look at it, depends on your perspective. That could be a good thing, that could be a bad thing, but that's what Sea Loam kind of reminds me about. It. There's a ton of fine dining, plenty of posh coffee shops. So if that's more your mode, go for it. Just expect to be paying premium prices. So I know you guys have been asking about her since the last condo video. She's back by popular demand. And to answer you guys' most asked question, she is indeed single and she's indeed ready to mingle. So make sure you guys slide into her Instagram DMs and her line DMs. She's gonna hate me for saying this, but that's okay. It's Sophia! It's a little bit unexpected about the introduction, but thank you. I'm gonna field you plenty of possible suitors, making oh, sure. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that, but uh, yeah, maybe it's a good day. Sophia, what can you tell us about this whole, the whole Sea Loam area and especially here in this first property we're going to be uh, staying at? What is this uh, first area we're going to be staying at? Or yeah. checking out, excuse me. Uh, this project is called Ashton Jula. Uh, it's a high rise building, 52 stories. And next to it, you have uh, Samyang MRT station and there is an underpass, go to Jamjuri Square. And uh, at the condo itself, they have a Starbucks. So it's uh, very good for people who is uh, living here or working around this area. And next door, uh, we have a very uh, popular uh, new shopping mall called Silo Midtown. And then uh, when you turn right, go straight, you will reach Siam Paragon in 15, 10 minutes. So what about this unit that we're going to be checking out? It's pretty um, nice, would you say? Yeah, it's on uh, level 51 overseeing uh, the King Tower Mahanakon building. You know, the one with the oh my regular God. Yeah. shape. Yeah. yeah, the owner chose this unit is because of the bill. So let's check it out now. Absolutely. Let's go. Mm. Is it okay? <laughs> yes, it's okay. <laughs> First coming here to Ashton Chula, very, very luxury feel, wouldn't you say? Kind of reminds me of a little bit of Life of Soap from the past video, uh, but definitely much more a uh, smaller scale, very homely. I probably can't afford this. Yeah, I want to show you about this corner. You have some 7-Eleven uh, vending machine and there is a small door, direct access to Starbucks. There are two lobbies here. The left hand side is for low rise building and right hand side is for high rise up to 52nd floor. All right, so to caveat what Sophia says, this part is for the low rise condo units. And when you head over to this right side of the lobby, that's for the high risers, some separation. So if you guys have been here in Bangkok for a while, uh, at the Ashton condo brand is, you know, they usually market themselves as more of like an upscale luxury brand. So you've got the uh, Ashton Chula, but then if you over go to the uh, Ahsoka area on, the, on Sukhavin Road, there's also the Ashton Ahsoka. So in your honest opinion, which one do you think is nicer? Ashton Chula here or Ashton Ahsoka? Chula. Way better? Yes, because uh, a lot of customer recommended Ashton Ahsoka. The location is fantastic, but the whole building, especially the corridor, the interior is pretty dark. 
here is brighter. They use a different color scheme, like mostly rose gold and lighter marble tiles. So you don't feel so gloomy. One thing I noticed is that there, it seems like there's a lot less people here in Ashton Chula compared to Ashton Osok. Like yeah. It's more of a quieter neighborhood. Yeah, because uh, it's different. Sukhumvit is always more popular, actually. Two levels of the fitness center? Yes. Wow. That is one nice looking gym. A lot of cardio machines, a lot of ellipticals. I'm assuming the weight room is upstairs. The second floor of this gym is mostly free weights and machines. Got your cables. Your, uh, I don't know what this is called, the Sophia workout? I don't know. <laughs> Jump sport, is it? No. It Jump sport? Have you done this before? Okay. Do you remember our Siamese exclusive 42? Yeah. yeah For the last one, you showed me a jacuzzi. This one has a pretty nice one, too. Yeah. Wow, look at this outdoor area. It's freaking nice. Here and one on top. So, this is a jacuzzi over here. Wow. It's even nicer than the, than the last one. Oh, and you got a second level jacuzzi over here. Very nice. I'm more curious to see how the the garden view is going to be like. Whoa. So this is their swimming pool over here. Check out that skyline, guys. It's a fantastic view. Oh, wow. Sheesh. Imagine yourself going for a nice morning or afternoon swim. Looking right in front of you is the King Mahanakon Tower. Chaparaya River. So you got the Mahanakon Tower. And to your left hand side, you said it's the Chaparaya River. Oh, there we go. Right here, guys. Chaparaya River. King Mahanakon Tower. Yeah, this is amazing views. All right, guys, so I'm in here in the men's bathroom doing my business. Uh, but while I'm doing my business, I want to talk to you guys about the amazing men and women's restrooms over here. Very well designed, just a lot of marble tiles everywhere. That marble luxury feel here in this toilet just makes you feel so comfortable when you're, you know, sitting down on a toilet and just doing your business. And you're looking around and it's all marble design, that marble luxury design. So it's, it's a good condo. I'm very impressed with it so far. All right. I'm gonna go back to doing my business on the toilet. So Fia was asking me if I just tested the toilet. Yeah, it took a little bit longer than usual. Oh, I did more than just test the toilet. <laughs> so we're gonna be checking out our first unit here in Ashton Chula. I know I have, recently I've had a lot of new subscribers coming into the channel. So if you guys are watching, welcome to the channel. With my experiences checking out condos, I've seen roughly eight to 10 different real estate agents. And the reason why I choose Sophia like I mentioned in my previous video, is that she does a really good job. Not only does she, you know, get you good deals on condos, she also takes the time to renovate a lot of these units, which makes it very homely. You need a woman's touch, otherwise you're just gonna end up living like a caveman. Most importantly, her customer service. If, she, if you're trying to fight for a deal, she'll definitely vouch for you and just go all out and making sure you're well taken care of and you get the best deal. So for all you new guys coming to my channel, and you guys are looking at condos, give Sophia a ring, see what's up. Let's go check out uh, this first unit, yeah? All right. All right, let's do it. So this is our one bedroom unit, 35 square meter. Um, you have a very good view from the balcony. So usually balcony without windows, but this one also comes with a window. And overseeing King Power Mahanakon. You can do some laundry here without getting wet, even in this rainy season. This owner is a lady, and then she requested to have a pink bed. So I choose the pink material for the bed pad, 
and then some decorative items also mostly using rose gold this is definitely more for a uh a woman's touch for yeah. uh female uh tenants yeah and then we also customized the wardrobe layout to put more t-shirts or handbags easier for girls then there is a dressing table you can use it as a working table as well with some drawers shelves cabinets and there is a sofa bed if you have gas Here, let me give you a hand here. <laughs> there we go. No, no, not like this. Cannot, cannot film. I can't film like this. It's all good. It's all good. This is reality. Not everything goes according to plan. There you go. Fantastic. See, you gotta improvise. Oh. Really cannot film like this. That wasn't supposed to happen, but we'll, we'll just one second, guys. All right, there you go. That's what is supposed to happen. <laughs> oh, there you go. Nice. Oh there you go. <laughs> I need some practice. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. This is reality, guys. Not everything goes according to plan, but you just got to adjust fire and make corrections, and everything's all good. Hey, good job, Sophia. Awesome. That's <laughs> all good. Sophia, I noticed that there's no washer in here. Is there a possibility that? People can request a washer. Oh my, dude, I am the biggest idiot ever. I totally miss this. Washing machine is over here, right in the kitchen. All right, Sophia, the moment of truth. Can you remind us how many square meters this unit is? And most importantly, what everybody wants to know, how much is it gonna cost? Okay, this is a one bedroom unit on level 51, 35 square meter. Before COVID, the rent was at 35,000 baht, but right now we have COVID discount, 20,000 baht for at least one year contract. If it's short term, you can contact me and we discuss about the package. What are the details for short term? Uh, six months, three months, one month? Yeah, minimum one month, but because of, uh, we have to subscribe internet, pay the electricity bill, water bill, or we can discuss whether you need once a week cleaning, cleaning service. So yeah, we will talk about the details when you contact me. Sounds good. So tw so COVID rate, 20,000 baht. For long term. For right? long term, At for one year. One would... year or two years. Wow, that is pretty damn nice. All right, so perfect opportunity, guys. Thailand just opened up a couple days ago. It's still fairly new. Uh, so in my honest opinion, prices are gonna go back up. I wanna say mid 2022. So early bird special, early bird gets the worm. So if you wanna take advantage of this right now, there's a good time to take advantage of this because the longer you wait, there's a good possibility that prices may go back up. All right, so we just finished checking out the uh, Ashton and Chula. We're gonna be heading to our second and final unit here in the Sea Loam area. See you guys there soon. Okay, so we're here at our second and final location here in this Sea Loam condo video here in Bangkok, Satorn. Uh, from what I've seen, beautiful luxury feel. What more can you tell us, Sophia? Uh, it's next to Surasat BTS station and this project comes with private lift access. So, or you still share with your neighbor, just that the lift will open out right at your unit. So private lift, wow. I can only imagine the price tag on this place. It's gonna be pretty Peng Mok, or in Thai, that means uh, pretty expensive. Yeah, but the unit size here is bigger. It's around 60 square meters for one bedroom. So this is so this next unit we're going to be seeing is 60 square meters? Yes. I can't wait to check out something bigger than 35 square meters. <laughs> let's go check it out. Okay, let's go. So these are different towers, you would say? Yeah, they have lobby C, one, two, three, four, and then we go to B, 
Because each elevator serves two units only. Serve two units? Yeah. The, the, the door only open at your side. Wow. You understand? So multiple lobbies in this particular condo. Mm -hmm. so, this, so this is indeed the private elevator. Okay. So you got a, uh, a semi-private elevator that you're shared between yourself and your neighbors. Elevator unit. Oh, wow. Well, hopefully my neighbors don't steal my, my shoes. No, they cannot come in. This is a steal your unit. This is still? Oh, wow. Okay. And you don't have to pick up your letter from the lobby because your mailbox is here. Nice. So you your mailbox. You've got your private elevator. You've got your own dresser. Wow. I really like this place already, but I'm also worried about the price tag for this place. Let's go check out inside the condo, see what it's like. Now we check out this one bedroom unit, about 60 square meter. And you will have another zero view. Whoa, I'm already liking this place already. It's 60 square meters, it's freaking huge. We are on level 17 right now. Wow, check that view out. My goodness. Oh, it's really close to that one uh, where they filmed the uh, second hangover. That, uh, <laughs> yeah, dome. That, that dome, I forgot what it's called, but uh, yeah, that's like the ending scene out there. And the owner uh, is providing a very cozy sofa. This sofa comes with some char charger and the radio function. <laughs> very nice. storage okay cool cool so and extra storage area oh plenty of places where i can put my crap in here yeah. nice this unit is available for rent but the owner is using uh for a short-term vacation right now okay short term uh, how long yeah it depends on how soon we can find a tenant okay so, and also in the master bedroom, a lot of built-in cabinets. Damn, I love the sleek design. <laughs> okay, cool. And also on top, a lot, a lot of storage. That is so much space. So, for uh, this area is a walk-in closet. Put your handbags or whatever perfume display, and bathroom is also very spacious. When I look into this walk in closet, the first thing I see is that this is every woman's dream to be staying at this place. You could put countless of bags and your Gucci and your Louis Vuitton and whatever crazy fashion designer bags of you own right here this place if you're a rich single woman a rich woman in general this is a good spot for you this is a huge place you can store a ton of your stuff over here very spacious my goodness this is every woman's dream Right. Well, the previous tenant actually is a single guy from America. Oh, it's a single guy from America. Oh, hmm. Yeah. He keeps this place really well. And then uh, before COVID, the rent actually is 40,000 baht. Right now, uh, we are asking 35,000 baht. So if you're interested, just contact me. So there you go. 60 square meters, 35,000 baht. If you're a guy that likes to collect Louis Vuitton bags and Gucci bags and basically if you're a guy that has a lot of a lot of junk, a lot of shit, it's a good place for you. You can resort if you have a ton of clothes, bags, everything. I'm only slightly judging because that's who I am. But don't worry about me. Worry about you.
good place to for good place for you to store everything. So definitely consider this place over here here in Bangkok, Saturn. So usually small unit in Bangkok doesn't come with built-in oven, but for this project, you have a built-in oven and microwave. So it's very good for Westerner they enjoy uh, baking. <laughs> we are on sixth floor right now and uh, checking out the gym. Room. Fitness room. Fitness room. Fitness room. Oh, look at this common area. Very nice. Oh, jeez. This is definitely one of the things I noticed is just coming through this common area. You got a little gap with the water. One thing I've really noticed is that the ties do a fantastic job when it comes to the condo amenities. The interior designing, everything is always on point. Like if you ask for a luxury feel, you will for sure get a luxury feel. And they usually, and for the most part, they usually blow out your expectations. You know, it's way more than it's expected. So whether it comes to Thailand's condo amenities, the interior designing, even when you go to the hotel lobbies here in Thailand, the, uh, the amenities are just out of this world. It's far exceeds my expectations. There are two swimming pools on this level. This is level 32. And then... Oh, nice tree over here. Yeah. Should I continue? So yeah. many people. Yeah. No, no, it's okay. Continue. <laughs> you guys want to know, a lot of people are following. Uh, those are uh, Sophia's assistants. So that's why we're always uh, rolled up in a gang. Anyways. Yeah, I will show you the family pool and another one. What is that called? Okay, let me see. Uh, the name is over there. Oh wow, that looks that looks fancy. So it's not Sky Family Pool. I like let go of the finger. <laughs> it's all right. That's all right. Another view of the King Mahanakon Tower. What was that? Sorry. Yeah, it's Surosak BTS. This is one of the pool. Um, this is called Sky Bote Pool. One thing really special about this condo is that you have a ton of private elevators. So if you want that private luxury feel, consider Bangkok Saturn. So this is the second pool on the other side. I personally like this way more just because it's more, it's got more uh, greenery, a lot of vegetation. So right now we're here in the Sky Lounge of Bangkok Saturn. Saturn. Very nice amenities and tables. It's very like a nice place to just drink tea, eat cookies, just relax, enjoy the nice Bangkok view. When I was in my 20s, I really never cared too much about stuff like this, but the older, I be, uh, the older I'm getting, more and more of a grandpa I've become. I just want a nice quiet place with a nice decor so I can sit in my old man rocking chair soon to be soon to grow old to become a very very grumpy old chinese man <sighs> sophia what's this uh little thing over here this is a bar here is a bar i can order a coffee or tea or me <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? All right, so that's gonna be it, folks. We've shown you two condo units here at the Sea Loam Saturn area. Definitely much more of a ritzy, you know, wealthier neighborhood here in Bangkok. I thought the units here in the condo were gonna be a lot more expensive than some of the units over on Sukhumvit. However, you know, due to COVID and the current situation, you know, everything's at a discounted rate. It's more or less along the same uh, price range as some of the Sukhumvit condos. So to all my new subscribers that are tuning in recently that haven't seen uh, my previous condo videos with Sophia. She helps 
mostly foreign expats. So she speaks English, Cantonese, Mandarin. What else do you speak? Uh, uh, like taxi Thai. Taxi Thai? So all you need guys planning on coming back here, whether it's short-term stay, long-term stay, I highly recommend Sophia. I'm gonna include all her information in the description down below. She's also single, ready to mingle. <laughs> so yeah, trying to hook her up, right? But uh, most importantly, I just want to thank Sophia uh, for showing us these uh, these new units over at the Seabom Saturn area. Anything you want to add? Um, thank you for watching, and I received a lot of inquiries from the first uh, video, and especially want to thank uh, Forrest because over uh, he's a very popular channel. Then I rented out one unit and then uh, just sign a contract for a small refresh refurbishment project awesome she's helping people conversions are happening so if you guys are in need of condos reach out to Sophia she's legit anyways thank you guys for watching love y'all see you guys in the next video take care bye